Hi everybody, welcome back to the Joy of Trucking. I'm Kevin, I'm a solo OTR driver for Winter Enterprises. And today's topic is the fifth wheel. So hit that subscribe button and I'll tell you a story. Okay, here it is. This is the fifth wheel. It's mounted on the back of the tractor, kind of between the two drive axles. This is the point where the trailer and truck connect. When you turn the truck, the trailer pivots on this point. If you look at the trailers, they have a, they have a shiny post that sticks down below it. So when you slide your truck underneath it, that post goes inside, right up that groove, and hits those, those little lugs you see in there. And they are spring-loaded, so they will snap shut and lock on that kingpin, they call it. And what happens then is you should get out and check that it is locked. If you, if you come back here to the back of the truck and you've got a flashlight and you look up inside there, you should see the lugs are securely grabbed onto the groove in the kingpin. And I like to do that before I raise the landing gear just in case when I pull away, the trailer drops. Now, the, the, if the landing gear is up, the trailer will drop quite a bit, and if it's loaded, it's gonna be real hard for you to crank it back up again. So that's, that's my procedure. I back up, I try and line up as, as square as I can, and slowly back up, and when it locks, you'll hear it latch, and then give it a tug test. Put it in forward gear, move it ahead, and the trailer should resist. It should not roll with you it should and you should not roll away from the trailer at that point and that's a tug test it means that it's securely latched and then get out and visually check it and then raise your landing gear and you're set to go and I usually do another tug test again before I pull away just that second check so I'm I'm doubly sure it's in there now you see these curly hoses here there's there's a fat one there and there's a skinny one underneath it that is your remote control. You've got a couple of switches on the dashboard and uh, one of them will release the kingpin, open it up. And that's what this handle does. That's the manual release. And Werner gives you a, a big long handle. It's got a handle on one end and a hook on the other that you put on this handle right here and you can manually pull it. This particular truck I've had to do it several times. So last week when I was at a terminal I had them service it and it hasn't given me a problem since. But what it's what it was doing was the automatic release, maybe the cylinder was stuck, maybe there wasn't enough lubrication, maybe something was jammed, but I had to actually get out and pull that handle myself to release a trailer. The other skinny little hose there goes to another air cylinder that unlocks the lugs on the fifth wheel so it can slide. You see these, these grooves here? So inside here, there are little prongs that stick out and lock into these positions. So I can change the position, sliding that, that whole assembly back and forth on this rack so that the weight of the trailer, the front end of the trailer, is a little bit back or a little bit forward on the frame of the truck. And that's another story we'll get to. The other thing I wanted to talk about here was lubrication. You see there's a ton of grease here. It's very greasy. And you gotta realize that there's a lot of weight sitting on this big flat piece of steel and the metal part underneath the trailer sits on top of that so if it wasn't greased there'd be a lot of friction there'd be a lot of grinding there'd be a lot of wear there might even be a lot of heat if you're doing a lot of maneuvering just as a little comparison I'm gonna look at my neighbor's fifth wheel here and you see a different assembly instead of having those those teeth on the inside there's spots over here and here are the locking lugs. So when you go to adjust your fifth wheel, these pins move away and you can slide to a different position and those pins will lock into different places. So that's a different way to adjust your fifth wheel. And you see the cylinders and the air hoses are in a different position. My fifth wheel over there, it uses two lugs that come in from the side and grab the pin, the king pin. This one uses a solid bar that grows across the king pin and holds it. And remember what I was saying about lubrication. A good sign that you need to grease that is rust, which means there's bare metal there. 
So the company gives you grease packs. You can open the grease packs and smear the grease liberally by hand all over here. And it'll take you a week to get your hands clean again. Or you can use gloves. Or you can just slap the grease packs right on here just before you slide in underneath the trailer. And they'll get squashed and open up and the grease will spread liberally all on its own. So that is the story about the fifth wheel how all the different things work, how to connect it, how to disconnect it, what to watch for. I hope this was of some use to you. If it was, give it a thumbs up. If I forgot something, put it in the comments below. Let's, let's let everybody know. The idea is here to educate folks, especially all these new drivers. You know, there's, there's things maybe you weren't aware of or things you weren't taught, and that's what we're doing here. Give me the thumbs up, give me the comments, give me a subscription, and that's it for now. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you down the road. Bye-bye for now.